Hey, croissant, what the hell? <laughs> Hello, chat. And welcome. Happy 4th of July, all. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi, how's it going? What's up, Kenny? Good to see you. Jackaroo, hello. Yes, you did make it, Black Market Dealer. How you doing? Jason Eddy saying, member chat only? No. Subscriber only chat. Everybody here who's subbed is welcome to chat in our community. So all you got to do is sub for free, and you can say hi to everybody. Hi to Mark Lewis and Tan and Billy Nelson. Good to see you all here. Welcome again to our community. Good to see you all back. We were going to play Hotel Magnet today, but it looks like I tested it out last night, and the demo was there, and then this morning it looks like they've taken it down. That was a cool hotel building game that I wanted to play some more, but we'll play that whenever it's available again. For now, we're going to go ahead and play some Parkitect as we get to make fireworks in that game, so I thought it'd be a lot of fun to play one of the missions uh, from Parkitect that is... Uh, we actually have to build a, an amusement park on top of a small mall, which should be pretty cool. Anyway, I'm just working on something in the background, so we'll be live in just a moment. There we go. Cool. All right, and let's bring up our Parkitect screen. I always, I can always use Parkitect as an excuse to play. I love this game. This game's on sale right now, by the way, and is multiplayer too. And you can play the entire game with your friends, both the sandbox mode and the campaign mode, which is like. That's mind blowing. Uh, the base game is on sale for twenty-two dollars, and you can buy the whole collector's edition for like thirty-four dollars with the game and everything in it. Parkitect and then both DLCs. Thirty-four dollars. That's thirty-one percent off. That's pretty good. This game's pretty damn good, especially the multiplayer part. I like that a lot. Oh boy, you're getting flashbacks to all the cursed parks that you made. Oh really? I see. Uh, why aren't there any knock-knock jokes about America? Knock-knock, who's there, America? <laughs> I don't know. Freedom doesn't use a door, it uses a window. Just like the sweet smell of apple pie drifting in through the window, brother. Amen. Amen, brother. Oh, because freedom rings. Oh, that's good. That's a good one, brother. Amen. All right, well, we're going to get started. Uh, this mission is part of the DLC. I think it's the Taste of Adventure DLC. And we're going to go to, J interestingly enough, Japan to make a mall on top, uh, uh, amusement park on top of a mall. But we're going to still make a fire display. A fireworks display should be pretty cool. I'm always down to play Parkitect. It's cool. Hey, what's up, Christian Madsen? How you doing? Welcome. And hello to uh, Michael Morrison. Hello to you as well. Furry and M, good to see everybody here. There are a lot of people here. Don't be afraid to say hi now. We got, we got an awesome community, so everybody's welcome here, and it's nice to see everybody here. On the 4th, if you're not American or whatnot, it's just a regular Sunday, which is cool, too. Always a good day for a nice summer barbecue or something like that. Today, I'm actually going to make some... I'm going to try to make some brats today. It's been a while since I've actually cooked out on the grill. Usually, I've been making a lot of stuff inside that is, like, you know, quick and easy. Not necessarily quick and easy, but just, like, uh, you know, that you can make on your stove or in the oven. All right, let's get started with... Uh, Picking up at Tech Technopolis, and uh, this is like uh, deep into the campaign too. By the way, for the um, or the uh, Taste of Adventure DLC, so you start here in the Amazon, or like uh, in like you make like a like an amusement park at an Inca temple, then there's like a steampunk volcano, then you can go build Candyland. Then you guys saw when I built that really small park, which I love that one. Which is why I think I'm going to like this one. After the South America map is, boom, Technopolis. So we li we literally bought a mall, and on top of that mall, we're going to build an amusement park on top of the mall. So that's pretty damn cool, I think. Uh, why did the British spell cancel with two L's while the Americans spell it with one? Uh, that's because we gave them the extra L in 1776. Got him. Is that, is that it? <laughs> oh, boy. Getting rowdy in here, Chad. Getting rowdy. Have fun. You're about to go sailing? Oh, dude. I went to the lake the other day and saw a ton of sailboats. It is, it is a beautiful sight when you see like a thousand boats out on the lake and they're all just kind of slowly just kind of creeping along. It's a beautiful sight. Sailboats are amazing. All right, well, our goal for Technopolis is we're in the middle of a bustling metro metropolis of Tokyo, America. And while you acquired a shopping mall, well, nothing's more American, I guess, than a shopping mall. At least it was in the 80s, 90s. Uh, encompassing a full city block, you were to develop it into a thriving all-around entertainment complex with the addition of a theme park attraction but with nowhere else to go you'll have to build it on the roof of the existing buildings all right so we have to literally build it on top of the mall 
So the goal is to have a cleanliness rating of 90%, have 450 guests in the park, two coasters in the park with an excitement rating, oh, this is going to be tough, of 65 or above, uh, complete it without pausing, complete all goals without using the tracked ride blueprint, complete all non-optional goals by the end of year two. Damn, this is actually going to be a tough one. Well, we'll see if we can do this, and if there's extra time, we'll fill it with fireworks, brother. Amen. This game is so good. This game and Astroneer are two games on the channel that, like, I wish more people would, like, get into because I just love these games so much. Those, both those games, like, simple art style is, like, really fun and nice. Oh, we're going to have a lot of traffic driving around. That's cool. So here's the mall. So there's, like, a little bridge here. People come through the park, and then they walk up the bridge into the mall, and then they can uh, choose to go on any of the, what, three or floor, four floors of the mall, and then they can, um, and then they can come up here, and we can have ourselves a roller coaster, oh, probably a good spot for a roller coaster there, I don't know how we're going to get to 65, that's going to be interesting, we might have to, like, restart this one a few times if it goes south, but we'll see, we can build a food court over here, build a food court here, and then uh, a bunch of rides everywhere else, pretty cool. Smiley face indeed. You've you've dropped a like. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate you smashing the like button. Appreciate it. All right. Well, let's get cracking then. You're using your grandma's phone to watch. Nice. Very nice. All right. Let's go for a ride real quick. We need uh, we need some rides cracking right away. We'll put this one in the corner. Something like that'll be fine. Can we jump to other buildings? I don't think we can uh, build anywhere else other than the main one. These buildings are definitely Tokyo looking though. Very small, narrow, and tall. That's very that's very Tokyo. Uh, let's see. I think we'll build something here. We gotta get cracking though, ASAP. Okay, I got an idea. We'll build a restroom there. Maybe a small restroom complex there. Okay, so we'll build that as our entrance, and this will be our exit. I don't think we could fit a ride over here, though. This place is going to be crowded. Something like that, maybe. And then we should be able to build a pathway this way. Let's open it up. Okay, cool. That should be connected to... That's weird, that's green. Okay, there we go. Alright, the park should be open too, so people should be allowed to come in. Oh, you have a uh, Sunday dinner with purple potatoes? Damn, that sounds nice. That's good. Alright, let's build our pathway across. Okay, and then let's go ahead and put down a restroom. We'll put a toilet here. There we go. And then fence. There should be people coming into the park soon. Oh yeah, I see them walking in right now. Coming across the bridge. Okay. Alright, they're on their way. Oh, nice. Then we can put some benches over here or something. Oh, yeah, and some trash cans, too. Oh, good, we got our first victim, uh, takers, first takers. Be six bucks. We're not going to charge an entry fee for now. I think we'll just charge for the rides, and then we'll step up to the entry fee. Yeah, this one is hard. There's not a lot of space. We get, well, they actually want us to build two coasters up here, but if we're going to get money for that, we got to at least have uh, some rides going. Ooh, we could fit this here, too. Oh, boy, we got to fit everything in via the space. Oh, boy. Because <clears throat> we're going to have a food court here, rides here, and then everything else is going to have to be coasters. We might have to squeeze this one in. Might be a little ugly, but we're going to have to do it. Oh, beer brats? You're having barbecue? Oh, that's nice. Beer brats, brah. Well, first we've got to get some money, and then we can tear things down if we need to. Make a lovely little entryway here. Actually, 
we should be able to do something like this. Then we'll put a uh, information kiosk in the middle, if we have one. We can research that later. Speaking of research, what are we working on? Thrill rides, that's probably a good thing. And we'll increase that to... We don't have much time, so let's go 400. Okay, yeah, it's kind of a boring roof, isn't it? But it's going to look pretty sweet with the whole roof being loaded up with rides. And, of course, some fireworks going on later. Alright, then we got to get some food going. People are not going to be happy without that. We can't pause it all, so we can't really put a lot of time into our designs. You'd be here on top with the... Uh, With the uh, r roller coasters going, oh boy. We don't really have much in terms of food. We don't really have any. We have like bubble tea and that's it. That's interesting. Yeah, let's shrink that down. Um, I think actually we'll make it like this. I think I could make a pathway on the outside like that. And then make a nice eating and seating area here. When we eventually make enough restaurants and stuff. Okay, that looks good. Bah, 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 bah. You have a slow internet connection, so that's why you're using your grandma's phone. That's cool. I mean, that's a good way to, to bypass it. Tan with the hearts. The Lego hearts. Wonderful. This game really reminds me a lot of Lego, too. But I also enjoyed playing the Lego Builder World game, because that's also Lego. Okay, we need some benches here while we wait for some money to come in. Oh, we probably should get this thing charged up. Let's go with uh, maybe four bucks for this thing. No time to spare. Uh, let's see. Definitely this bench here. Uh, being at the edge is kind of cool, though. I mean, the rides are... I don't know if that actually affects the rides and makes them any cooler. I don't know if that affects their... Because uh, there are... I wonder if the height actually affects that. Being on the side of the building, being flung over the side, might actually... Uh, people might, might actually like that. I don't know. Alright. Try a trash can here. Uh, that one's a good one. What if the large trash bin actually has a higher capacity, too, for trash? Be interesting to know. Well, we're going to have to hire some people now. Let's at least hire two janitors to start with. It's very small, so we don't need patrol areas. Hire somebody to walk the path. And some mechanics. And we'll also have this path connect here. And actually, I could do an employee break room somewhere. I'll have to do a staff room somewhere. I think here would probably be a good spot for it. And we can just do a little path. Alright, off to a good start. We are down in money. But, you know, you got to spend it to make it. All right, well, we've completed the goal. We're cleanly this 90%. We'll see about that, though. Probably get a coaster pumping. Oh, wow, we can do a water ride here? Oh, boy. Isn't there music in this game? Maybe I have it turned off to listen to my own. Yeah, there we go. That's lonely. Lonely without the tunes, bruh. There we go. We'll hear some tunes soon. Bom, 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 bom. Hey, Darkfire. Happy 4th of July to you, too. Welcome. Alright, this is actually a decent start. We got two rides rolling. We got an area for a food court. We got to research some more stuff, though. We'll probably build an uh, area around that. A little room around that. Maybe we could do a curb here. 
A lot of space to dedicate to the food court, but it, it is going to be important. That means everything else can be for rides. Pretty cool, actually. We'll do some curbing here. I want to see what, uh, I think some other people have worked on and gotten to this level too. I want to see what everybody else is up to. Where's the music? Alright, I think we'll just play some our own tunes. Put on some generic music in the background. There we go. Yeah, this will be interesting to see how much, uh, I mean, in this game right here, in this level, every single small little bit of uh, space is going to be incredibly important. We'll also have to figure out how to fit some plants up here, too. I want to put plants up here and not make it look too crazy. I guess we'll have to paint the ground. We definitely need some trees here to make it look pretty. Ah, oh, there we go. What do we got for trees around here? Ooh, big old tree. There we go. Nice. Actually fitting some plants up here. Actually decent. Yeah, curb their enthusiasm, we'll see. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so we've got... Wait, oh, this is not... Wait, oh, we got to assign this to a uh, person. I'm going to have to delete the roof here just so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Alright, so now we got some tea going. Tee hee. Ferris wheel is a good one. Oh, we can also build up here. Oh, that'd be cool. Oh, we can put a power drop right up here. Like one of those, um, you know, one of those large towers that goes up and down. Those are probably some of my favorite rides there. Although I only like to go on them about once, and then I've kind of had my my fill with them after just one roll. Okay, let's go up top. We've got to make pathways everywhere. We've got to use every single inch of space. We've got to use every little bit. Oh, we can't build that there. Let's try... Stairs, flat, stairs, flat. Ah, there we go. Well, that looks much nicer. Okay, so now we can fit some rides up here. Ferris wheel's good, but I think, um... I don't know what people really want here. We're kind of limited in what we've got, so we better build what we have access to. Ooh. Oh, well, that would be interesting. What kind of a ride are we finishing here? Oh, the Enterprise. Ooh, that's a big one. Oh, a cyberpunk uh, planet coaster ride? That'd be sweet. Like a whole park theme off that? That'd be nice. Bum, 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 bum. Wow, there's so much... Wow, but we're handymen. There we go. Gotta get that cleaned up, guys. There we go. Alright, it's actually looking, like, good. Like, it's, it's like, oh, this looks so sad. But it's like, no, 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 we're actually... We're actually doing okay. We're filling some good space here. I like when you put stuff down. It, like, blows things away. This game's great. I'd like to see how we did here in, uh... Like, with my friends. I wonder I wonder how we would do, like, you know... Man, imagine, like, eight people playing in a tiny map like this. It'd be absolute chaos. I am chaos. 
I must kill chaos. We have ourselves an Enterprise now. Good. We gotta fit a coaster in, though. We're gonna have to, like, do coaster here and here. I think that's where we're gonna have to do it. This map could go by really quick. It could also be really short. Based on how things go. You guys have big plans for the 4th of July today? Anybody who is uh, celebrating? I know a lot of people go into the lake cabin, which is nice. Like, it's got to be really nice to have that cold weather. You know, the, the breeze from the lake, even on a warm day, a little breeze is nice. Bum, 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 bum. This has been on your radar for some time. Um, you already have Planet Coaster. Is this better? No, they're, they're, they're both two different types of games. This is more similar to... Uh, maybe more Roller Coaster Tycoon. But both are amazing games in their own way. It's not like comparing Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo. It's a little different. Yeah, we could put a tree here. I'm going to save for a kiosk, though. I also should probably put some umbrellas down, actually. Let's start filling this space in. We should probably put down some more stores. Balloons, too. And, uh... Now we have a vending... Uh, cash machine, but, eh. We have vending, though. I don't know where I could put a vending machine. Gotta put a vending machine somewhere where we can, uh, make a little space. I'm gonna have to make a pathway going up here to go to the top. Actually, I wonder... We could unlock, like, um, elevators. Which would be nice. There we go. Yeah, my plans are going to be, I'm going to make some brats, brother. Amen. I'm actually excited to do that. It's been a while since I've had, like, uh, I, since I made anything on the grill. I've been wanting to now. And today is the day I got to. I got to. Okay, I think we'll put some vending machines here. I don't feel so bad about just using, like, pathways on this map because it's, like, it's all just basically, um, you know, asphalt or tar anyway from the, uh, from the top of the roof, so. Okay, we got haulers bringing things to where they gotta go, I think. Need to be able to click on this building in there, though. Where's the, uh, I can't get to that building. It won't, like, let me delete the roof, so I gotta, like, try to use x-ray, but I can't see through the top. There we go. Oh, it's V. Okay. C is the ground, V is the top of buildings. Got it. Alright, time to go hire a couple more haulers. Ooh, we are negative money, baby. Ooh, not good. That's a challenge. We're spending a lot of money on research, but it's because we need... Squeeze in a water ride? Ooh, that's a lot of space. We could squeeze one in towards the end if we get a chance. I'm gonna have to hire a staff though. No matter what, one guy's not enough. Wait, what? Delivering salt to vending machine. What? Is it like an auto fry machine? Dude, Japan has some of the coolest vending machines out there. They actually have uh, machines where you can, like, make your own pizza. Like, you can choose the crust and, uh, like, the toppings and stuff. And it'll, like, make it and bake it right there. Like, the, the, the crust is already ready, but it'll, just, it'll add all the ingredients and then bake it and then give you a countdown timer. It's crazy. Japan has some really cool gimmick vending machines. Wow, there's so much vomit. Is everybody, like, really weak-stomached here? Whoa. We, we need to learn about the clientele. Uh, preferred ride intensity high and extreme. Okay. Dude, we're never going to be able to earn enough money to build a roller coaster. Thank goodness I didn't start with one. They're so expensive to make at the start. 
Oh, I saw one where you put your bottle of Sprite under it, etc., and it turns it into a slushy. I can believe that. I could totally believe that. Dude, there's vomit here. Okay, I gotta, I gotta like full time assign somebody right there. I can't believe that. I've never seen so much vomit from one ride. We're gonna have to assign a full time person to like work in a certain area. I have to make a zone. I was gonna have to have somebody right here at the entrance. I can't be I can't believe that. Oops. No, don't delete the okay. There, zone one. I'm just gonna have to have like one janitor in zone one at all times. There's no way around it. All right. Well, good news is at least all the ride queues are looking somewhat full, except for this one. A lot of these are boring because we don't have room to decorate, and the queues are kind of boring. But we can get some money to make that look a little nicer. Well, at least that ride's full. I'm not seeing any empty seats on that one. Uh-oh, imminent bankruptcy. Okay, we need a loan. Let's take out the 12,000. Okay, let's get this park up. Hello from Russia? Hello. How are things going in Russia? Russia. Russia's cool, man. You guys got some nice weather and some beautiful landscape. Mudrunner taught me that. Russia is a very diverse place. Everybody always just thinks of Moscow and Red Square and like uh, a few places they've seen from like war movies and stuff, but some really pretty rivers and forests. Very diverse territory. You're 30 and you sit in your house all day, your brother, dad, mom, uncle, because we're having a pool party. Out outstanding background. Ooh. That's nice. A little pool party. It's a good day for a pool party. Right, I'm going to try to fancy up some of these rides a little bit. we got to do it cheaply, though. Okay, we need some more benches. Definitely need some more benches here. I love these small space parks, though. I love these so much. You're watching from Tunisia. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, let's put another uh, pavilion down here. Love this little pathway over here. This is a nice map. It's so nice to see traffic and stuff. Like you don't feel alone in the world of Parkitect. There's actually like cars and stuff. It'd be cool if there were people down on the sidewalks. But it's nice to see cars and stuff. Usually you feel so alone in the game. As if, like, your theme park is the only existence of mankind. Let's build a few more of these. Happy Canada Day. Well, that's true, too. Canada Day was recently. Thanks to the Canadians for their support, too. Thanks for being here, buds. Okay, we need a trash can. That's not like the Japanese to litter. Maybe these are just tourists. We need more trees? I agree. It's going to be hard to figure out where to get trees. Like where to squeeze them in at. Every single square. I mean, this is like building in Tokyo. Like every little tiny square inch is incredibly important. Like every little inch of space is very, very important to be filled up. Okay, we're doing another thrill ride. The Orbiter. That must be something for, uh, well... Most flat rides are rotating anyway. Uh, with you and Raptor and Tan, it's always sunny. Yeah, I don't think Tan's ever missed a live stream. That's some dedication. Ooh, we could build a bridge across here, maybe. Wait, can I build up here? Oh. 
Uh, the uh, Enterprise will be in the way. Actually, I, I think the uh, launch rides are bigger than the 3x3, three, three three, so... We will see. Yeah, we gotta put some rides up here. But we'll figure that out later. Oh man, we need more trash cans. Man, this is crazy. This is Americaville, I guess. Oh no, no, there's broken benches. That's not... It's not nice. Yeah, I need more trash cans. Hmm. Gotta fill in more rides and stuff here. We gotta unlock more, though. Ferris wheel's good. We don't want people walking around. We want them in queues. That means, uh... That's like pre-ordering, you know? Seeing people in the queues is like watching pre-ordered sales in, uh... When you're, when you're working the video game industry. I've actually been to a mall in Japan that had like an immu um, a Ferris wheel on top of it. I didn't go in the Ferris wheel, but I did uh, kind of like walk past it and you can see it go through the mall. Pretty cool. Japan has pretty, even though it rains and stuff a lot, it's pretty consistent weather. Okay, let's open this up. Do something like that or like this. That'd probably be nicer. Alright, Ferris wheel's gotta be at least six bucks or so. Wow, this is looking nice. Actually turning out somewhat decent. Isn't the world's tiniest theme park in Japan too? Maybe. It's certainly got uh, a lot of problems with space and such. Limitations. Makes it more unique, I think. Wow. One janitor is not enough. There, I'm going to apply more janitors to zone one. Alright, things are coming together. We just got to be a little ugly so we can be profitable. Probably a good idea to start thinking about a coaster now. I would like to make a coaster out over the road, but I don't think we can do that. It has to be over the mall itself. Let's experiment. Hydraulic launch system. Oh boy. Many guests are complaining about trash. Yeah, I'd imagine that. People are so messy here. Um, oh good, we finished our research. You're from the Philippines? Well, thanks for watching. What is the tino tiniest dinosaur? Probably Dino Nuggets. It's a pretty small dinosaur right there. Dino Nugget Wall? A DNW? Oh, this is kind of like a fancier uh, scrambler. Just a little bigger. Okay.
Okay, well, we're starting to make a very razor-thin profit of a hundred and something bucks. Okay. Gonna try to use this area here to add some plants and at least try to beautify the park a little bit. Wow, that's not going to have any support beams. Oh, well. So we can do something like this that launches from the station and then goes up to the top. It's going to be very simple, but... Oh, it's also got to be over 6 point... It's got to be a ride that's over 6 point... Or no, 65.0. Alright, let's see how this goes. Oh, it's raining. We're rich. Oh, of course, now it won't test. I don't think this is going to be over uh, 65, but at least this can make us some money. One's in chat if you're absolutely triggered by the lack of supports on that uh, roller coaster. <laughs> you live in Alabama? Oh, it's 89 with uh, humid and sunny skies today. Wow. Well, that's a little different than here in uh, beautiful Tokyo Raptoria. Well, while we're waiting for that, I'm going to add some more thingies. This game, I, dude, I cannot tell you how much relaxing this game is. It's certainly not as complicated or complex as uh, Planet Coaster by any means. That's a game you want to play if you want to play something for a long time. But this game is all about, like, this game is, like, 100%, like, filling in the space, doing decoration. Like, this is, if you have, like, maybe four hours to spare, like, I don't know, if you're waiting on a flight or something, or whatever... This is a great game to, like, complete in a short amount of time. It's really nice. Really a good game. Oh, I see the ones in chat. Am I building a city? Kind of. I mean, we're in a city in Tokyo, basically, and we're building on top of a mall. So, yeah, I guess, kind of. Oh, boy, that's close. This ride's going to be kind of dumb. Yeah, excitement, only 26. It will bring in some cash, though. We can redesign it later. That is pretty cool, though. Uh, I'm going to bring it all the way to the back. Let's get rid of that. Let's, let's bring it all the way to the back. Let's go one, two, three, four, five... Let's go with six, then the hydraulic launch. And then we can go... Loop to the left. Uh... We could go into a corkscrew. Oh, we could go into a cork... Oh, yeah. There should be a way to do... Isn't there a corkscrew up version? I thought there was a way where you could twist, twist the track at the top. I think we gotta go double. We gotta go double loops. That's a bigger loop, though. Oh, well, this music's appropriate. That's probably tall enough. Yeah, we could probably put a water ride. Yeah, you can go between the loops and stuff, so if we made a loop big enough, we could make like a lazy river or something going through that. Possible. I 
don't know if we can make the train any longer. We can do a five car. This is definitely not going to be over the 60 or so, but at least this could get us uh, some money. That we desperately need. This roller coaster launches exactly how they launch airplanes on a carrier. Oops. Except like that. <laughs> oh god. It's madness. Liability the ride. I think we gotta launch it even faster. Wait, we can twist it. If we go like this, then we can just curve the track. Oh, baby. There we go. That's cool. Now it's launching at what, 75 kilometers? Let's do 85. The so two loops and then a corkscrew twist at the top. I think there actually is a way to make it go uh, back through the station and up the other side. I forget exactly how it is though. It's like a shuttle mode or some 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 other some other mode you have to set it to to do that. All right, let's test that. Pinto blast that it doesn't go over the top again. May Pinto be with us. Okay. It's got to be more than a point two eight. Yeah, first try. The cool thing is, is it actually goes through four loops. When it goes through the first time, that's one, and then when it goes through, that's two. So two times two is four. Outdated values. I think it's in like infinite stun lock mode for testing. I don't, we're just going to open it because I don't have all the time to wait because we need that money. Yeah, this game is good, uh, Gux Game Zone. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, Mississippi State Basketball won the CWS. Ooh. It says outdated values awaiting new test results. <laughs> it's run the test like four or five times. I don't know how many times you got to launch it. We should be fine. At least to make some money. That's got to be a money maker for us. What the hell? Why does it keep launching? Oh, wait. Oh, it keeps going back to the hydraulic thing. Okay. 
I need to change, uh... I need to change something about the working mode of this one. But I don't know how. Hydraulically launch coaster cars. Trains... There's got to be a way to change the, uh... Even now it says it's still testing. Oh, that's not good. Hydraulically launched coaster cards, operation. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're going to make some uh, fireworks soon in honor of uh, 4th of July. This thing should only catch it and allow it to go back. I don't know. This thing here should allow it to go back, but it keeps catching it and launching it every time. Hmm. Yeah, it's constantly launching. It should return. Trains will stop on the launch track where they get attached to a catch car that smoothly accelerates them to high speeds. Hmm. Let's we'll see what happens in test mode. In, th in this mode. In blueprint mode. Seems like it has to go all the way around, but this is perfect for, like, launching the train. Oh, yeah, it goes back to the... Well, wait a minute. It seemed to work that time. Well, except now the... What the hell? Now it's launching with the uh, restraints open. What the hell? Let me, let me try test mode again and see what happens. Uh, isn't it a launch coaster already? What if you remove the extra track? Well, th this is the launch section here. It has to launch on this section. It won't launch from the station. Is it, at the station, you can't set a uh, you can't set a launch speed. Only here at the at the very bottom. I'm going to try one last time. It could be a glitch. Oh, now it updated to 50.4 and updated to 26 seconds. That's really close to 60. I think I want to do this again just to... That seems too intense, all those loops like that. That's crazy. Should be able to go back to the station, I hope. Oof, that's rough. Go with a three.
Oh, now the intensity. Oh, no, now it went too high. We could lower the intensity, though, by lowering the speed. Every time I go to test this coaster, it rains every single time, dude. I, I don't get a chance to test my coaster, bro. Every, like, clockwork. Every time I finish it, it just rains. Is that like a game mode or something? We need to be able to make money here. Hopefully with a lower speed that'll increase the uh, excitement and lower the intensity. doesn't do how, how I thought it would. That's a shame. There's nothing stopping that from working except for the mechanic at the uh, the mechanic of it launching again. There should be a way to tell it to like disable that. That's a shame. That should work to bring in money, but we need to we need space. There might be a way to set that mode like that. I also think it should be able to launch from the station rather than having to be low, uh, rolled out onto a platform. Magnetic kicker. Must be something that rotates the cars around faster.
But why can't I... I can't put any turns in? What the hell? Uh, set up pictures are on Instagram. Links are down below in the description. Make sure you follow me. Come say hi. Dude, why do these coasters have to be complicated? I can't even make this one turn. Can this coaster not even turn to red? What the hell? Does it just return to station? What the hell? You just came here after finishing your hello, hellish homework? Oh, good. Welcome. Wait, homework on the fourth? Wait, oh, you're probably from Europe. I see. Vertical spinning coaster. Similar to the wing coaster, but the track can't curve, and each section of the seat spins freely as the car travels along the track. What the hell? So it can't curve? Wow. Wait. Oh. Wait. What the hell? Wait, what? How would you get it out of the... You could make a chain link, a uh, chain lift, but then how's it gonna... How would it come back to the... Wait, what? Wait a minute. I, wow, this is, this is going to require a big brain. Wow. Oh, flip direction. Oh. Wait, isn't this car supposed to be three long? Okay, I don't even know. How, I, I don't even know how to use that one. I don't. I could not figure that one out. That's crazy. I gotta figure that one out. That's crazy. I've never seen that before. Wow. This is a backseaters ride. No turns, only one direction. There's a launch mode. Perfect.
I need to make this train longer so we can test. Wow, two failed coasters. That's crazy. I can't believe how, like, crazy that is. No, I've never seen that coaster. I'm completely confused on that coaster. I've never seen that before. I want to I want to know how that works. I'm going to have to practice with that one. We're kind of under time constraints here, so... Yeah. Yeah, we finished uh, SimCity yesterday. It was pretty good. We uh, launched a uh, uh, shuttle from Space Station Raptoria, I guess. And other, other people finished uh, the Arcology. I was impressed. Our group did a fantastic job. Everybody did a wonderful job building everything. People worked on the Arcology. I didn't see an international airport, but... We only had like two days to work on it. Sometimes that game can take a little longer than two two days, so it's a game that it's pretty sweet. Um, okay, if I make that one plus one, that's not gonna work. Yep. Has anybody gone to an amusement park this year yet? I don't think I've gone to an amusement park in... I was going to go in 2019 in Japan. Got busy with some other stuff. Here we have an actual decent coaster, bro. This is looking good. Finally something the Dino Man knows how to make here. City Skylines Mars? Yeah, isn't that a series that somebody's doing? I think there's a gameplay series somebody, a really talented person, is making. I think we gotta go down here. What? Rain again? No way. In Japan? No way. Dude, that looks really cool. Gotta have some pretty good excitement to it, honestly. not good. Yeah, the only way we're going to get out of there is with a, a sharp incline. Fourteen. have some breaks here and got to burn off some of that speed oh that's too steep ah 
Yeah, 13 is the best I can do. Okay, well, then we're going to have to pop it with the break. Down to 20. a ten and a half. Wait, what? The break completely stops it. Wait, that shouldn't stop it completely. Perfect fit. Nice. Oh, there we go. Perfect, man. There we go. Ah, oh, thank goodness. And we didn't finish a second too soon because we're basically out of money. Gonna have to save the park. Well, we still have plenty of space to have another coaster. We'll have to have it launched from here. I'm going to have to research more coasters. There's no way around it. I cannot figure out the other two. They have some gimmicks to, like, make them really uh, profitable in a small space, but... Oh, man, I forgot we were playing another game. Spent all that time making that coaster, man. Well, at least we got plenty of space up here for more rides. Did we research anything else? Oh, wait, nice. We got other stuff done in the meantime. We're going to have to have to leave that space for a coaster. Can't fit another Ferris wheel. G-Lock was small. Starfire... Oh, I don't have enough money. Oh, extreme intensity, no. Well, that's a rip. I think that might work. I'm unbelievable. Keep up the great content. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. It's getting tricky, man. Like the coasters we have. This this is a great this is a great uh, coaster here, but we gotta match the speed correctly. I don't know if we can get up over that last bump. We might have to redesign that. I don't have time. I don't have money. Time and money, baby. That one's perfect to fit in that little spot there. There we go. Damn, it's still under the excitement rating. Wow. 
The coasters in this have to be um, 65 to qualify, so I think we need to keep lowering the speed. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down to 60 and see what happens. Now we're starting to get into dangerous territory. Let's open her up again. Whew. Oh, we don't have to bank the turns and just slow down the ride. It's probably the easier solution is to just slow down the launch a little bit rather than going and redesigning it. I don't have a lot of money to go back and redesign it. But banking turns is one way to lower the intensity, yeah. Uh, so many things closed. We're going to have to start charging an entry fee of $15. It's the only way. I mean 20 That looks nice at nighttime. Those are some cool lights. I like those. Yeah, lightning can happen. I don't think it actually hits your rides or anything. I don't think it can damage anything. But it is pretty cool to see it. Actually, don't they have like a cool little like glass dome or something for the? Yeah, I think you can make a. Can't you make like a tunnel? I think you can like auto build a tunnel. Oh, good. Thanks for all the popcorn and all the tickets. We're going to need more tickets, that's for sure. What? This ride's only been open for 10 minutes. Oh, wait. It did It did get struck by lightning. Look at that. Broken. Struck by lightning. That actually is a thing. Well, well. That's amazing. Umbrellas are now $5. I wonder in this game if the AI is programmed to rush to an umbrella stand if it starts to rain. I don't even have $200. Fifty-four point two, but I don't think it qualifies yet because it's not active. I think it has to run a test first. Oh, that's not making it home. $131. Chad, I need to borrow some money. <laughs> Did anyone have like three, three fifty? I'm going to need three fifty. Oh, there we go. Thank you, chat. Ever so gracious. Whew, that was close. We got to name it Thunderstruck. That's a damn good name. And I like the colors for it, too. Man, this map was not too bad up until like the whole uh, coaster part. Like, oof. Like, some of these are not going to work here. Like, um... Like the mouse ride would be perfect. Uh, Minecart and wooden coaster. That's not gonna. That's not gonna work here. We need steel. We're gonna need some hard steel, brother. Amen. Trucker hat emo. Oh yeah. Now the excitement went down a little bit because the launch speed is lower. Ah, now it's up to 56. Okay, well, we can use it to try to make money and then change it so... I mean, there's a whole area over here we could try to get some more score out of it. Try to use every single inch. But... Flat rides are really where we're going to make a lot of money because we can fit so many into this space. This is an incredibly challenging mission. I like this.
thing probably doesn't have to be that aggressive at the end either. But whatever, it gets him back to the station ASAP. Okay. Hopefully a lot of guests aren't being turned away. I'm not paying that much for an entry fee. Okay, 15 then. We're supposed to do all this by the end of December. I don't think there's a way. We may have to like do a restart, just like speed build back to where we were, or start with the coaster. But you gotta be making money on the side, otherwise the coaster alone doesn't bring people in. You gotta have all the other stuff first. Otherwise everyone's gonna queue for one coaster and that's gonna be a... Uh, sexy coaster? I mean, this looks pretty damn cool. This is probably the coolest one I've made. Kinda in this like pit here. Kinda neat. You still want the water ride? Of course you do. Water rides are cool, I don't blame you. Every time you open a park uh, in this game, people just flock towards water coasters all the time. Or what? Well, actually, there are water coasters. There is a water coaster. So it combines best of both worlds. Boys, I hate to say it, I think we got whooped. Let's do a restart. Not that we got whooped, but I feel stun locked. I want to try this one again. I like this one. But now we can, like, before it was a lot of time of, like, figuring out what we were going to do. Now we know what we're going to do. So first and foremost, I'm starting with a coaster. And we're getting that out of the way. And then we're going to build all the other rides back to where we were. That's good. It just means it's a challenging map. I like that. That's definitely a good thing. Mm, yeah, we're going to need the accelerators here. A lot of things are trial and error. So let's go ahead and start at 70... Let's start at 65. And we'll see what we can do with that kind of power. We can try to bank the turn. We'll do like a 20, 30 degree. The two loops are definitely uh, definitely winners here. Also, we need to make this coaster longer. The problem is here we've got what? Just a little bit of space. You love the videos? Thank you, Lucy. Fun fact, I like making them. Oh, those are flying. Can I make a... Uh, okay, we can do another turn here. Interesting, we can't... Can't do a 20 degree turn, but we can do a 40. That's interesting how this game takes that into account. Oh, but we can't turn back. Interesting. That's cool. That looks rough as hell, but it it's a nice 40 degree turn that smooths out. It looks rough though. What's up, a big snail? Welcome back. Good to see everybody here. Thanks, guys, for becoming members this week and smashing uh, subscribe and join and uh, all the super chats. And I hope you're all having a nice, or at least you have a nice Fourth of July. I guess some festivities can wait until later in the night.
But uh, yeah, thanks again for all the crazy support and uh, hanging out. Appreciate it. Can't really make a turn to the left here. I look great. That's true. Uh, let's see. Seems like it's going way too fast. Ooh. Wait, can I do... Oh, I can only go forward. I thought I could do like a cool corkscrew. I could do that here though. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, we can exit the opposite direction. Wait, why why at one forty? Go upside down. And then exit out of it. There we go. Yep. Um. Yeah, that'll work. I'm a great YouTuber. Well, thank you. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, it's nice to have a lot of people here. What what am I going to name this coaster? I think Chad came up with a fantastic name last time, which is called uh, Raptors Amazing, which I thought was a great name. You guys, you guys are great with your names. I don't know where they came up with that one, but they came up with it completely on their own, with no help. So good job, Chad. You're the best. Or Thunderstruck, one of the two. Let's see. You want to name it Indigestion? Ooh, look at that. That's cool. I don't think we can uh, turn out from this, though. Well, we got two loops and a corkscrew, and we've got an incredible, like, we've got 90 degree sections that go up and down, and 180s and I don't I don't think we could do any more things to this coaster. I don't think we could do anything else. Uh, we try to make it. No, I don't like that. We do slightly in incline. Ah, there we go. Oh, perfect. Ooh. Well, any open space we can fill with like some sort of decoration, so that's cool. We can we can add all sorts of things. Alright, the 
Station is at ten and a half. So we can swing around. I do like the color on this one. I think this is a great aqua. What would you guys call this color? Like an aqua blue? Aqua green? Oh, let's see if the coaster gets up here. Ooh, nice. It goes nice and slow through here. Sweet. On the return back to the station? That's awesome. Astroneer is the best game ever developed. I'm 75 years old and been playing since first... Pong first came out in 1976. Astroneer is a really cool game. I like that game. There's something about this weird... Um, I, the only thing I call it is like Lego style. There's this wonderful little Lego style of games that just really are something special. I don't know. They're, they're much different than most. We should add a photo section too. Okay, and then we should be able to bring it down. Turquoise? You think it's turquoise? <laughs> I need to get over the station. I gotta get closer to it, but... A tremendous waste of space here with this turn back, but... Coaster's gonna have to make money. No, that's too much. But we can do this. Yeah, there we go. Alright, well, let's give that a test. Nope. Look at that, we spent almost all of our money, man. That's crazy. Yeah, I know everybody wants to come here already. I'm a little irritated by that, uh, thing, but that's okay. Make a stairwell here. What's the coaster at? We gotta make one over 65, and this one only only hits 653. You gotta be kidding me. I mean, we're in limited space. What I probably should do is back up the station a bit, but... And of course, like clockwork. What did we do? We tested a coaster. What's happening? Rain. It's rigged! This map has gotta be cursed, bro. This map is cursed. Well, that looks good. I'm just going to have to open it. We don't have time. Unfortunately, I don't think we can make up uh, about 12 uh, points worth of entertainment. Wow, lightning actually hit the building. That's great. Okay, we're developing a thrill ride again. Wipeout, that's good. What's up, Pilot Pro? Good to see you. Hey! Nolan, thank you very much for the five. Happy fourth, everyone. Be safe. You too. I think the most dangerous thing I'm doing today is probably doing some grilling. So I'm going to have some uh, brats. It's been a long time since I've had any. So it's about time. Thanks again for the support. Welcome. Yeah, let's get everybody on a ride here. Got to start getting some stuff in. Happy 4th, everyone. Be safe. The trouble with this map, too, is that you don't get a ride to start with. Like, everything you do, you got to start from scratch. There 
everybody's tired out, give them somewhere to sit down. There we go. Plus, I guess another factor is we don't have a really high drop, which would be super nice. What's so special about the 4th? Well, every country celebrates the 4th of July. They all have it on their calendar. It's pretty special. We can also charge money for the, uh... Can we charge money for the photos somehow? Oh, yep. Photo price five dollars, coaster price twelve. Amen, brother. We're gonna have to make this thing better. We'll just use it as an initial way to get people into the park. But I think what I really want to do is back that station up and somehow put something beforehand. I thought that was cool, but I guess not. It's not up to the high standard of the Japanese. They want more. Okay, we'll give them more. bunch of janitors going. Alright, we also need to get some more rides going. we put a Ferris wheel up here. Hey, what's up, Stefan? How you doing? Hey, we completed a goal, all right. 90% cleanliness complete. Ah, oh, shame, it's... Oh, we don't have the money. But it'd be perfect there. charge eight bucks for that so one thing you should know about this game too by the way is that uh, well one chats almost to 300 likes so thank you very much for the support but one thing you should know is that uh, the game gets every time you put down a ride it in the background the game increases the amount of guests that you can have in your park so it sends more guests so if you start with a really big cool ride it'll only attract so many guests so each ride that you put in your park slowly increases the number of people who will be in the park so it's like people want to go on the coaster but they'll only go on the coaster if there's also like six other rides that kind of thing so like sometimes it takes some more convincing to get people to go onto your uh, your rides that's why our coaster is not going to be profitable for a little while we get all these seats and it can accommodate a lot of people but we got to get more So if you ever build a uh, coaster or something in this game and you're wondering why nobody's going on it, it might be because you need more other rides to get them to come into the park. It's a big brain pro tip. Oh yeah, you're enjoying for uh, you're excited for Jurassic World Evolution 2. That's a good one. Yeah, thanks for smashing like guys, especially on the holiday. It's nice to be here. We're going to try to do fireworks before the end here. Wow, people just being jerks. Breaking my, my benches. We got to get more people on this coaster. I wonder how it would do if we increased the speed. That might increase it a little bit. What's on the first floor? Oh, it's a mall below us. So everybody who's coming here is going through the mall and then, you know, maybe they're doing some shopping or whatever and then come up to the amusement park. Alright, we're gonna have to start siphoning money everywhere we can. Five dollar entry, eight dollars for the cube. Uh, let's try two fifty for the 
Ferris wheel. A giant Apple store, yeah. That's not good. Coaster is basically empty. Uh, we need more money for a another ride. Let's go for 12. My right, research has brought in the wipeout. Oh, nice. That's a small one. Gotta fit something down here too. Unfortunately, I can't like dig a tunnel under the ground either. This, like this is a roof, so it's like we can't can't like dig down. Oh boy. What's up, P squared? Okay, I want to do something here. Maybe we could do vending machine. Oh, maybe we'll do like a little vending machine corner here. I don't know. Vending machine would be a lot better than researching a bunch of stuff. There we go. We'll do a vending machine corner there. Get a bunch of employees hauling to it. Um, did I hire haulers? Yes. Three, two. We need some security. We need entertainers. Any fireworks show I'm going to go see? Maybe. We'll see. Okay, so I need uh, more decorations and stuff. Oh, creator tag for Epic City Games? Oh, um... Just wrap Tori at checkout if you ever buy anything on the Epic Game Store. So we can put, like, a nice little building over here. Gotta make use of this space, though. We could put a restroom up here. But we need rides. We gotta get rides. Rides, rides, rides. Gotta do rides. Gotta figure out where I'm gonna put another coaster. I think we gotta put a coaster here. We'll keep this area for flat rides. But what does this one do for score? 28, 25, 48. So we need much higher. I guess we only put the Ferris wheel in because it's very narrow. Oh, I forgot to uh, attach this. There we go. Okay, now food will be delivered. This thing's got a lot of excitement, so... This ride definitely needs the queue. Bum, 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 bum. Replace the ride... Uh, the, uh... The guards with Velociraptors. Let's see. Now we gotta build something up on the top too. 
We gotta build an entrance for our uh, for our coaster, which we'll put up there eventually. It's too hard to build a bridge between the buildings. I think the stairwell on the back side is good. Cool game, but does it have a comm system? Good point. Oops. Yeah, we can put a coaster up there now. Wow, we're actually making a profit a little bit. Com system, like an intercom. Gonna get a few more haulers here. Okay, well, we're getting more people in the park. That's good. I don't know if we'll complete our goal of um, getting these things up to 65, but we'll try. Nope. That's cool. Hmm, that'll use some of the space there. Easy thing. Give me a weird coaster, I think. You want me to stream grilling? Oh, that's gonna be that'd be so boring. Like it, it is fun to grill when you can like smell what you're cooking, you know, like the rock, because you're hungry, you're excited, food's coming, but like. For you guys to watch it on the 4th, I don't know. Sounds like torture. Oh, the, a the actual fact that we somehow managed to weave these two coasters together is pretty impressive. Almost.
Wow, that actually worked. Oh, it's going way too fast. All going to be about adjustments here. That's a bit much. <laughs> what the hell? I, I don't know what this is. In order to just try to get a score, we've come up with creating something monstrous and weird. I don't know what to say. Oh, you can actually make these go off to the side? Oh, I didn't know that. Wow, that's crazy. Do I have a permit for that? I have money. Sometimes that's all it takes. Oh, that doesn't even make it. Well, now that I know that, though... Ooh, I can make a loop through the loop. Wow. Oh, that actually works. So many things here surprise me. Like, I can't believe how, how many of these things actually work. Wow. We also need to make that coaster longer because, you know, I like money. The more people we can fit on it, the better. Five out of five. Okay, that's as long as it'll go. Oh, does that say ten and six eighths? This thing's going to be crazy intense already, I can tell. Yep. I gotta get some more money. Wow.
Yeah, we're gonna need loops. Three loops? I don't know if we can do three loops. I don't know if we can do three. Totally takes a long time to figure out Fruit Loops. Yeah, this is challenging, man. The coasters alone here are just deadly in terms of your bottom line, and that's the bottom line. Now we got one loop in. Try this. Could do another corkscrew. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I'm way too high up, I can't come down because of the uh, stuff in front of me. mess that is stacked on top of that. Oh, I can't even get over the second loop. Alright, I thought that would be a problem. Dean. Yeah, I'm basically just trying to find a way to weave through already pre-existing uh, tangle. Oh, this will do. Oh, this is perfect right here. We got it. I think we should do a double loop, though. Bring that down to two, one. Oh, that's cool. That goes through there real nice. Okay. Uh, we need to do some more turns and some weaves. We'll circle back this way now.
Okay, there we go. So it's ten and a half here for a station height. Medium. Now oh, we could adjust that with the uh Actually what if we went up to eighty? Six Flags in Minnesota. Yeah, we have something that's owned by uh, Six Flags, I think, or Cedar something or other, known as Valley Fair. Ooh, chat, you're up to 300. Thank you very much for the support. Great way to support the free content with a free like. Appreciate that. That's nice. Thank you. Oh, now the, now the train is going quick. Oh, yeah, excitement increased to, uh... Let's try launching at 60. In intensity was too high. That removes the, uh... Lowers the excitement. Or, I mean, the, uh, yeah. All right, we're at fifty-four point two. Damn, I don't know if I can actually get that big goal of getting up to sixty-five because the I don't even think the space is a problem. It's more like the the type of coaster we're dealing with. Which is a little weird. Oh, dude, look at that. That's cool. Overhangs onto the cliff. That's cool. Let's go into a little bit of a break here. Go down to uh, about 30. Ah, there we go. And 10 and a half. Good, we're on the mark. It's so weird to me how the coaster doesn't actually launch from the uh, station. It has to go over to a separate section, like a catapult for it. Ooh, 61.3. Ooh, that actually is a good coaster. With a few decorations, we should be able to make that one work. continue to increase. It's at 61.3. There's a lot of things it checks for, like how long the coaster is, what the biggest drop is, ride time, that type of thing. This coaster is at 75 intensity. If I could bring that down. This one's at 49 intensity, yeah. So if we could somehow get this one lower...
Mm. You're going kayaking? That's awesome, dude. Fantastic. All right, well, at least now we have a positive park, and we have about a year to figure things out now. Started with the coasters. was probably not a bad thing. I should, should build a block section here so we can have two cars going through. Ah, this coaster will actually work. I would redesign it, but it's actually it's actually better that way. All right, twister. Oh, G-lock is fantastic. Let's get that down. Uh, yep, just turn on the notification bell. You'll know when we're what we're playing next. Make sure after sub and turn it on that bell, man. YouTube will auto notify you, and that'll be cool. All right, chat. What's the cool? What should we put down here? Like a garden or something? Like should we should we make this all dirt and like put a bunch of trees here? I mean, nothing else is gonna go down here except for these actual coasters. We could put like a beautiful garden down here. Or maybe like grass? Wow. That's actually really cool. We'd have oh that's that's actually very cool. We'll take these trees. Ah. Oh, that's cool. Party, yeah. Oh, I, I wonder if I could put my uh, fireworks display in there. I think we'll probably end up putting it up uh, up here on top of that building. Obviously, Tokyo probably wouldn't allow that, but uh, America. Like, hey, you can't do that. You're disturbing all these people. Yeah, but this is Americaville. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. It's like, yeah, don't let it happen again. Plus, the trees are just a simple, super simple way to just get that rating up. Oh, yeah. Bob Ross mode initiate. Yeah. That's true. Well, there we go. Let's see if we got one of the coasters up to 65 now. 64.8, awesome. Means when we decorate the uh, station, it'll be up there. And then this one's at 55.6, which leads me to believe if I lower the speed slightly, we could get to 65. It might actually be possible. Possible. need space fitting rides now okay looks good so far eh, it's okay there's a lot of empty space but uh, we can't really not much we can do about that 
I'll just have to take our two current coasters and make them better. Well, this is a good ride. To Wait, what's the rating on this one? Nice, 33 for medium. Also be a good fit here. Yeah, we'll reserve that up there for the coasters. Hey, we need some actual food court stuff going on here. I'll put this here. have it swing back around this way. Not so much trash, we just haven't had a lot of time to decorate and add uh, benches and such. Definitely time for that. Okay, we need more trash cans. We need a toilet, too. I haven't even bothered with any of that stuff. Now we gotta put a staff room in here, too. I know a way to hide that. We could put that here. Don't have enough money. Oh, boy. Well, at least we're making plus money. We might be able to pull the nose up now, boys. Right, let's lower this to $10. Bring this one up to yep, 12 Okay. Nice, not bad. Oh, good. I see chat's got their tickets ready for the coasters. Oh, nice. Seven dollars there on the heartbreaker. And now time to start putting in the... Uh, stands and things. We need a restroom going. Gotta make use of this space up here. Lots of this could be for decoration. Now we can increase the park rating and get more people here. We got almost 300 people in the park. It's 280 or 228. I mean. Um, about 80 away from the top. Oh boy. Alright. Yeah, we need trash cans and stuff now. Ugh. Wasted space there. And here. And here. Okay.
You're back from vacation there, Eddie. Awesome. I guess today's also another day off if you're uh, from the U.S. if you don't work today. I can remember working on the 4th of July a few times at, uh, at a gas station that I worked at. And it was pretty... Nothing happened on those days. Like, it was a freebie day. You'd get people, a couple people coming in buying bags of ice, a couple people buying gas, and that was about it. What is this vacation? Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll do uh, we'll do some fireworks soon. Once we got the park under control and we're making money. Which is not the case right now, unfortunately. Well, that's not true. We are making money, but it was uh, challenging to get to this point. But now we're actually, we're doing the thing. We're doing it. Somebody get the camera. We're actually, like, in Prophetsville right now. It's like one pixel that this tree can work on. There it goes. We'll probably put up, we'll put our fireworks display up here, on top of this building. No palm trees. Uh, Tokyo. Well, most of Japan doesn't have palm trees. They kind of have like an alpine like type of pine tree, but there are certain areas for that too. Wow, look at all this space here. We gotta put some more rides in. As soon as they're researched, we got most of these down. Alright, is this at 65? It is. We have our first coaster at 65. Now this one's only at 55, but I think we could get it up there if we re if we readjust a few things, we might be able to do it. So we got more room for coasters there. And let's get the rest of these uh, shops down now. That one's not facing the right way. Oops. Uh, where are the shops? There we go. Balloons. And umbrellas. Oh, man. We need a hell of a lot more. Oh, I don't have any trash cans down at all. Spent all of our time building coasters. Gonna have to be at about a 90, 80, yeah. sure it's centered there we go freedomville population america all right i think i want a bunch of uh smaller plants now wow the fact that we actually added some grass up here is nice can't believe it grab some trees from down here oh, a lot of people going home from the rain uh-oh What's up, Amber? Yeah, I'm, I want to play this again with everybody. I'll have to go back and play some more uh, Parkitect soon. Multiplayer. 
Good game. Oh, we don't have enough money. There we go. Money's back. Let's get a cherry tree going. Sakura tree. Ah, cherry blossoms. So pretty. Can we get a Tory gate up here? Oh, they custom made that. Nice. How goes it? Pretty good now. I think we've got some profit going. I had to fill in all the space in this park now. and it would be a good way to increase the park rating a little bit. You know, it's nicer to look at plants than it is concrete. Like old mufflers and stuff. Or whatever else they put on top of this wall. Uh, let's see. Actually, what are these trees? Oh, we've already got these. Let's try the poplar trees. Very nice. Okay. Things are coming together. Money's coming in. We need to focus on getting this one coaster up to the other level. Let's see. Goals are to have a 90% cleanliness. We're at 49, so we got to improve that. 400 guests, so we need to do some marketing. Okay, let's do some increasing to the cleanliness right now. for rides. Oh, we got one finishing up the... Oh, Enterprise. Oof. The Enterprise is too... That's, that's, a, that's a big boy. And it also has to move up, so I don't think we'll be able to put it over here. Oh, no. Yo, know, Wild Jack with the two, showing some love. Keep up the kick by work. Hey, thank you. Yeah, well, thanks to everybody being in our community and being awesome. Appreciate that. Oh, we also forgot to put down the uh, the employee break room. Well, that's a thousand dollars though, so we just got to wait for the cash. Do we have a park entry fee? Five bucks. Okay, seems good. Coban, Coban. Now that coaster is not making us money. some with flowers. Am I going to cook my own dinner tonight to celebrate independence? Yeah, usually I cook for myself. I am definitely going to go grilling tonight. I'm going to make brats and grill for like the first time in 10 million years because I'm a dinosaur. Okay. We got to get that population up. I think the best way to increase the amount of people in the park, though, is probably by increasing our advertisement budget. We also need to fix this area. I can definitely see some areas where we can fit more stuff. It's like you want to fill in all this space, but it's like building in mountains. It's hard to get to. 
I guess we could always add more trees and things. We don't... Oh, well, let's, let's fill in all these amenities, like uh, benches. Guys holding it. <laughs> I saw one of those guys waddling over there. Really had to pee. Hey, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Bom, 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 bom. Yeah, I think our vendors are cooked up now. I think I wish we had some more uh, spaces for the uh, for kiosks, but it seems to all come down to just vending machines. Everybody seems to go over to the vending area. So well, that's good. Yeah, I can actually, uh, we can hit by, get uh, lightning strikes up here. This actually makes me want to go to that new uh, Super Mario World in Japan or whatever it is Nintendo World I can't believe it's taken them so long to make an amusement park out of that that seems like fun okay well we got a lot of area there to utilize we're making a ton of money good feeling now that we got all these extra dollars to decorate, too. I don't know if we can make a different fence here. Something for people to look over. Yeah, it's kind of a rest area. I built a um, restroom over here. Just one, <laughs> just one bathroom. That's all we got for fences. Okay. Uh... Oh, I can't overwrite that fence. Must be on the outside. Oh well. Edmonton, yeah, it's like it's like Mall of America. Except we're building on top of a mall in Tokyo. Welcome to America, brother. Amen. Okay, we gotta start a advertising campaign and we gotta get this coaster pimped out. We need more cash though. Alright, a lot of this stuff's gonna take time for research to be complete for us to fill in. Unfortunately, the enterprise is way too big and not really profitable. We could put the twister down just to have something. That oh, would fit here. Let's just fill the space. It's cool putting it on the edge, though. What's up, ADV? How you doing? Welcome back. I think we'll fill in the entire top of the roof with trees. 
Except for here, I'm gonna make a building, and then here we're gonna do something else. Then we got fireworks. Make a whole building out of the top of this for extra points. After we beat the mission, we got we gotta be focused on beating the mission. This thing now went to 55.9, so we gotta increase that number a little bit. We better start experimenting now. We need to increase. What's the intensity? The intensity is high at 75. So let's bring this down to 60. Okay, uh, that'll barely make it through. That means here we gotta use a booster. Booster, wow. Yeah, there it is, the LSM. 20. Okay, let's see if that works. Okay, let's see if this thing can actually make it to the top. Booster emote. Oh, it looks like I forgot to connect it. Not bad. There we go. Bom, 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 bom. Uh, if there's any country that would put a roller coaster on top of a shopping mall, it'd either be the USA or Japan. Yeah, I agree. Japan especially because, like, it's a, a space thing, especially in Tokyo and Kyoto and all these, Osaka, all the super busy places. Ooh, that thing makes it through nicely. Things at eleven and a half. Oh, nice. That's a that's a much better transition. That is a damn smooth transition. I'm proud of that coaster. 62.3. There we go. Now it's at very high. Okay, so we need to make some more trees and stuff here. So look at that. We reduce the speed and we increase the, uh, the excitement by reducing the intensity. Now the intensity is just high instead of very high. I think we can do this, ladies and gentlemen. Pinto Bless. We need a Pinto Bless wall. I can put some more trees around here and build a nice station. We might be able to do this.
162.1. All right. Am I Canadian? I am not. I am Mer I America. I'm gonna build a station, but I don't know if that affects it too much. We gotta get this damn thing up by three points, though. I wonder if I can add a special effect to it or something. What about terrain modification? That might be disabled for this one. Oh, yep. There's no way to make tunnels. Now let's add some more small one-by trees. Happy 4th of July. It is? Yes, it is. Welcome, buddy. We're going to have ourselves some celebrations with... Um, fireworks at the end of the stream. We're going to build a nice little fireworks display. Hi there, Harry. Harry must be on the coaster. He looks very excited. Glad we made like a little forested area here. That's good. Sixty-three point two. I wonder if I if I lower the speed any more, if that would affect it. Let's see if they can actually get through the coaster pretty easily. I think we could slow it down a little bit more. Let's try 55. Every little inch, every every little step forward counts. It's going to be big. Oh wait, up. Oh. Wait, what? How did that get deleted? That's an important part. We need that. There we go. Bum, 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 bum. All right, let's see. We got to build stations here pretty soon in detail. Oh, boy. Another ride is almost done. That's the enter... The orbiter. Uh, well, that's a good ride. It doesn't go up. That'll make us good money. Yeah, that coaster would... Yeah. Kind of need that part, didn't we? That's kind of important. Once the coaster comes back, we should be good. Oh, I see a really long line. It must have hit a new level. 69.6! Yes! We did it! Objective complete. We have two coasters over 65. No way. No way. Pulling back on that speed a little bit made all the difference. Damn. Nice. 
Chan, we have 69.6. Nice. 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 Oh, baby. This is awesome. All right, so we've got... Okay, so now we just got to get a cleanliness rating up. And we have to get more guests in the park. So cleanliness rating. Let's go ahead and just hire like crazy of more janitors and put down more trash cans. Let's get a couple more carriers. Another a little bit more security. Some more of me. <sighs> okay. Now we just gotta get that park rating up. Oh man, we're making tons of money. Okay, let's go for the uh, advertising campaign. Oh, this is this is Harry Pog right here. This is this is Harry Pog. Three month billboard ads on this thing. Oh, we could do social media. We'll do television. The Japanese do love their TV and billboards. Japanese love TV and billboards. They respond to that the most. You know, like a television broadcast in Japan, they actually like they bow in the morning and stuff. Like when they're when they talk about the news, they actually have like a um, they'll have like a board up with newspaper cutouts. Like on, on TV, on the television, they'll actually have like paper cutouts and they'll point to it with like a stick. It's pretty crazy. But it's because they trust, like, written word a little bit more than they do, like, display. So they, they really value paper and, like, things being written down. Pretty cool. litter this with all sorts of plants. Yeah, the paper makes it seem more official. They like that. Well, we've still got more things to build. We've still got, um, like this whole area down here is not complete. Neither are the stations up here. I want to put something here, but there's not much that'll fit in this space. Oh, we need the uh, staff room, don't we, still? There we go. Okay. We should probably also put, like, air conditioning units on top, too. For the mall below to make it look a little more realistic. Oh, boy. step up is not enough. And of course we can't tunnel underneath, so... You like watching people play games and this one's interesting? Yeah, it's a really cool game. Now we'll put our fire dis firework display up here. I don't know what we're going to put up here. Wow, it's amazing how much money we're making now. That's crazy. Do I like watching people play games? Yeah, especially if it's a game that I'm not really, like, knowledgeable about. Like, uh, 
Hearthstone or anything along the lines of that. I want to do a nice, beautiful thing there. Any more rides unlocked? Uh, oh, yeah, the Orbiter. Ah, perfect. All right, let's put a exit here. <gasps> Lumberjack, thanks for becoming a raptor egg. Appreciate that. Welcome aboard. Nice new to have member. you with us. Welcome. A new member. Wow. There, a nice little platform for everyone to go out and look at. Then we need a queue. Well, if I could, I'd make custom supports like, you know, you could probably put some here. The game would let us, but... Oh, well. Try to remove all the tight spaces here. It's amazing how, like, placing one or two trees will change the entire excitement rating. But just removing one of the trees has changed it. But I wanted to have that observation thing. People can come out here and check it out. Well, let's do a couple of rounded trees. What do we have for rounded trees? Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. I like giant bonsai trees. Okay, so we're going to put a food court here when we get a chance to actually make that. So we can make a giant building here. And a building here. And a building here. Park building mood, I see. Yeah, absolutely, Tom. The cool thing about this game is that it doesn't take very long to play. So if you're kind of in the mood to do something but don't really want to commit, like, an entire, like, day to it, you could just... I mean, I'm... I'm two, two, almost three hours into this, and, um... Like, I've, I've kind of failed once where I just restarted, and I'm, like... I'm doing just fine now, so it's, like... It doesn't feel like any time has passed at all. It's nice. Let's try some hedges. But isn't there like nice hedges in this game? Um. Ah, yeah, there it is. some more pavilions to things to make it look nice. Maybe we'll paint them red. 
Yeah, it's a pretty good looking park so far. I want to paint these red. Like the Tory Gate. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Alright, so once we complete our goal, we, we should probably get some more people in the park. Let's do a park advertising campaign now. Park advertisement. Six months via billboard. Ooh. Three months via... Radio. Just gotta get that goal complete. Alright, so let's see, where are we at? Uh, park cleanliness is at 85%, we gotta hit 90. And I think we'll be good. Let's keep hiring some janitorial staff. And then we gotta go on garbage can duty. Make sure we got garbage cans everywhere. Some of it could be vomit as well, but... That's really cool though, you kind of like spin near the edge of the building. That's kind of cool. That's a good, it fits in, a it's uh, space, what would you call it, like space efficient? Fits into a nice little corner without taking up too much room. Good stuff. Uh, the Yeah, the coasters can fall off the track if you're doing it during testing, but there's not, I don't think there's like, they'll crash or explode or anything. It's not like uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon or Park Attack. Uh, it's nice to see our coasters finally filling up. Nice long lines out in front of them. This coaster here just gets filled up immediately. I need to make the queue a little bit longer. I could probably make it zip up this way. There we go. Add a little extra... A little extra length to that uh, queue. And then we gotta start working on fireworks and lighting and stuff. But we'll first make sure we complete the goal. How's our park cleanliness now? 87%. Alright, we're getting there. Kind of nice to add all these uh, little plants and stuff to the top. Kind of seems a little weird. But honestly, that's really the only way to uh, keep everything going. Is this right open? Oh, it's too expensive, that's why. Make it $5. Make that. That's fine. This one. Make $5. All right, now we can relax the price gouging a little bit. We'll keep that one 10. This one will be 10, too. <coughs> Woo, there we go. All right, now, everything's looking good. Everything's looking good. Okay, all the rides are open, I think. 
Uh, track is upgraded to a little raptor. Thank you very much for the support. And on a lovely holiday. Oh, uh, by the way, later today we're playing uh, Call to Arms Gates of Hell Ostfront. Now, it'll be later in the day. Most of my viewers are American, and it's 4th of July, so people will probably be with family and out barbecuing and uh, watching fireworks and things. But we'll have a giveaway later today, guaranteed. So everybody who's watching, if you want to win a wonderful World War II strategy game, and many other things, make sure you click or tap join and become a member. We'll have some extra perks for members here in the coming month. But today is one of those days where we do a giveaway. Yay! Okay, we'll do a nice building here. Ah, the balloon stand is annoying because it actually... I wish there was a way to turn that off where all the balloons won't be on the top. You intended to do it sooner? Oh, that's fine. Anytime you guys want to support, that's on you. Become a member anytime you'd like. No, uh, no pressure, no rush. Alright, we should probably add some nice stuff to this to make it look different. I like change the interior styling of the can we do this I want to change the material of the floor for some of these rides I want to make some of these brick well, all of this is asphalt but I want some of this to be maybe brick mix it up a little bit A lot of space here for something and here. Actually, me inviting a bunch of guests was probably a bad idea. That means it's going to hurt cleanliness. Man, look at the amount of people coming through this park, man. Put a nice maple tree there. Hey, we did it! We did it! We did it! Yay! <laughs> wow. Okay. Awesome. Everything, yep, everything was completed. Beautiful. All right. Well, now we can play for fun. Now we can really make it America world. Okay. Well, first thing I want to do then is stop all research on that and go for shops, brother, because we got to get them McDonald's open ASAP. So let's increase that to 5 hundo. All right. All right, well, we completed the base scenario, but now is where the game really begins. Now we're going to start with the building of buildings and also the fireworks before we go. Let's build some nice buildings here. Uh, let's try some walls and stuff. Uh, let's see, walls, there we go. Now we could copy some walls around us. This blue brick looks strange, but... Oh, we got to name our coasters and stuff, too. Okay, so you guys wanted us to name this one Thunderstruck. This is a good idea. In honor of our coaster being hit by lightning one time. What should we name the other one? We gotta name this little orange and black coaster. Alright, chat, here's your chance. You guys come up with some good names. I'll come back to name it in a minute. I'll see what you guys can come up with. I'll make a station for it in the meantime. Ooh, Twisted Demise. Wow.
The tiger. Nice. Hmm. We'll paint this when we're done. Orange scream. Thunder rock. See how this turns out. Barrel roll? Ooh, I like that. Now, remember, it's got to be... Amer okay, so it's the Japanese perspective on America. Like, this is America world, but it's from the Jap Japanese perspective. So what... Most of our customers, you know, some of them will probably be tourists from all over the world. But... It also has to, like... It's probably going to get a lot more Japanese customers. The Vomit Comet. Screaming Tiger? That's good, too. We can also change the colors, so, like, if we wanted to, we can, like, name it the Red Bear. We don't have to keep it, like, orange and black. Taste of Liberty. Oh, yes. What does Liberty taste like? Like, barbecue chicken? Ooh, that's... Okay, that's gonna cut through the station. We don't want that. Domo Arigato, Mr. Roboto. Which essentially just means, uh, hello, my friend. Hello, my good friend, basically. Something you'd say to somebody you really are close with. Okay, this station's not looking bad. I'm gonna make some changes to this, but <laughs> off to a good start. Oof. Yeah, okay, that's gonna decapitate. We don't want that. George Washington's horse. Got like a jagged brick thing going on there. That's weird. This is looking cool. Uh, paint it red, white, and blue and call it the Patriot. Okay. Now we're starting to get there. I want to put some windows and stuff in here, too. I don't want it to be all just enclosed. But we'll enclose it first, and then we'll start removing windows or walls to make windows. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, that's a cool little station. It's it's all right. I'm not very good at these stations, but I'm definitely better than I was. So, the American Dream. Okay. Abe Lincoln's top hat, like literally just a piece of clothing that a president wore. I don't even know if the Japanese know, like, because you know, like in the United States, we love Mickey Mouse, but in Japan, they love Donald Duck. The Freedom Factory. Wow. Oh, that's sticking out. Oh, that must be the edge of the uh, queue line there. Oh, boy. You know what I could do, actually, is um, we could build... We could leave this section flat. Ooh, that'd be nice to leave that overhang like this. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, that's neat. All right, I think we're gonna leave that like that. It's weird to see like uh, oh, the Japanese do use um, uh, like tin, tin and metal for roofs and such. It's usually a darker color, but this is a good color. Yeah, we're gonna put windows on the station for sure. 
I, uh, I don't like these windows that we've come up with. Alright, I like this roof. We'll add that back later, once we're done on the outside. Let's add some windows, then. Uh, oh, you can kind of see that, can't you? Uh-oh. Well, we could delete the base there. Yeah, the problem is we can't delete this section here, but that's all right. We'll we'll just have to make do. Let's find some other stuff around us that we can use. Um, there we go. Borders. Oh boy. Uh The gas guzzler? Please no not again. I don't know if you I don't know if I could hire you guys for naming my rides. All right, well let's first name it. I I like the black and orange. I think we should probably make it even more orange. Like let's do uh Like a brighter orange? Oh, that's kind of nice. I mean, we could... I mean, this is America Town. We gotta make this thing red, white, and blue, right? I mean, we could. On there. Now we can see it. Uh, we could have a red stripe. Oh, we'll make the uh, restraints red. There we go. The restraints are red. The stripe on the side is white. There we go. Is that too much? Yes. So it's perfect. Alright, we're going to have to name it something in a weird... We're going to have to call it something weird like this. Seventeen seventy six, the independence. Like that's that's how they would title that. They wouldn't call it like, you know, Fourth of July or declaring freedom or something like that. They would they would call it that. Is Planet Coaster any good? That game's amazing. If you like this, Planet Coaster is a game that you'll like just as much. The Orange Julius. <laughs> wow. All right, this station's actually pretty good. Um, I'm really... I want to use this space over here. I don't know how I'm going to get people up here. There is an elevator you can use in the game, but we have to research that. Um, okay, now we got to paint this building. I think we'll paint it the same color as the tracks, and I think that's this color. Oops. One of my favorite things in this game is how you can just eyedropper colors around you. So if you like a color, you just copy it from somewhere else, and boom. You're good to go.
How good burgers have now been researched. Excellent. I wonder if we should paint like a giant American flag on the side. I don't know if we have enough room for that though. You, you kind of have to do things on a big scale in this game to get it to work. Here, I'll just put an AC unit to hide that little clipping through. Giorgio, you like the content? Hey, thank you very much. Dude, this community is full of nothing but people just drop it in saying, Hey, love what you do. Have a good day. And either they, they just chill and chat for the rest of the day, or they just come back later, or whatever. What a nice community we have. Thanks for being chill, everybody. Especially on a day like today, it should all be just about barbecuing and stuff and hanging out. At least the Americans. No Americans should have any plans today other than to just chill. Chilling and grilling, you know? Interestingly enough, these almost look like gutters. Alright, we'll spend the next... Uh a little bit of time, just uh, doing some decoration. We might have to cut our designing short, though, in order to make time for the fireworks. This game's really good too. Like, if you if you've always wanted to play these types of games. There is like a sandbox mode for this game, and you can turn like unlimited money on. So if you're not very skilled at this, like, if you think I'm doing really well, this is after a lot of practice, and I've made some great improvements. But it's after watching people like uh, Silverot and Uthris, and there's a really just a massive amount of notable people in the creative uh, building space of Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo and Architect that are amazing. But after watching them, I've gained confidence. And honestly, most of this game is just pretending to know what you're doing. Can I stream the fireworks? Uh, yep, we're gonna we're gonna make fireworks in the game. In just a few minutes, we will. Uh, we can actually do our own like uh, setup of our own display, so we can choose like the timing and kind of cool. You can you can make fireworks go off at a certain time each day, or you can make uh, make it manual and do it whenever you want. Oh, that's cool. I still don't like this color, though. I don't know. That dark shack like that. Mm. It's okay, I guess. But we got a lot more work to do. We'd put, like, pillars here. Make it blue? Uh, that might be too blue. We want it to stick out, but not too much. I think we should kind of make it... Uh, like, this color here is good. Yeah, I wanted to put fireworks up here, but we could do... I don't know, something there. Well, we could do fireworks here, though. We've pretty much got the whole map filled. What we're going to do here is I want to build a building here for, like, a, like, all the food. So let's get another stand down. So... Like, we're going to build a building here, and a station here, and then fireworks. And we've filled in pretty much everything. Alright, well, we'll make this a... Uh, a fence here. There we go. Let's put a little door here. A little secret door. Oh wait, I don't know if you can see that. I want a door that looks more like a... Not like a house door. 
I want this, but. Ah, whatever. That's fine. Yeah, I would put a rest area up there, but it's too hard for us to get to the other side of the station. All right, let's do some fireworks. I think it's under... Yeah, there we go. it a bit though on the other side of this ah perfect Amazing how adding a little bit of detail like that means everything. Well, what we could do up here too is we could put a few AC units for the uh, building below. Like, obviously, there's a mall below us, so there could be a food court down there or a clothing store. I mean, there could be any everything underneath us. Oh, we could put a little garden here, too. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah, we gotta mix this up with different tiling. I made the mistake of doing everything asphalt, but I want to change some of these to tiling. Wow, look at that. People going crazy over that place. Look at that. They can't resist but check it out, I guess. So we'll use these bushes as kind of a placeholder for putting other plants. But it'll help us to build the station. Nice. Alright, so I don't really like this color on the station, but it'll do. Wow, we made a ton of money here. This is great. But the whole rest of our playthrough would be like perfecting and improving and adding new stuff. Making everything look a little different. But I think the goal now is just to fill in the space. There we go. So building over the food court, change that, build a station here. Ah, oh, Planet Coaster? Yeah, I'd love to go back to that sometime. Alright, let's work on a, uh... Oh, did I... Oh. Oh. Seems the burgers are quite popular. They sold out quickly. Oh, did we make another... We're making another... Oh, mini donuts are coming up next. America. I got an idea. Let's do a curb here. You think it looks great? Yeah. 
Well, you know, it all works out once you, you know, like all things, it comes down to money and research. So if we build a busy park and it's making all the money, that's good news. Okay, many donuts are ready to open. Okay, well, let's work on some fireworks. Yeah, cop yeah, copper roof and stuff. That all look good. Okay, we're gonna make this nighttime now. So one thing we gotta work on next is lighting. We don't want it to be too light. But we definitely want there to be some pathways here, but the reason we're doing this is for the fireworks. So it's fireworks time, yay. Now I just gotta remember how to do that. How do we make fireworks in this game? Ooh. Paper lanterns, that'd be appropriate here. Uh, I guess red? Cool. Also has to have a nice Japanese feel to it. Although those are a little too long. Uh, let's see. I know there's lights in this game too that are just string lights. Just got the notification for my next stream. Yeah, it should be in about 30 minutes or so. We can, Don't worry, we can always push it back. It's okay. Damn, I wish there was a way to angle this differently. Oh, well. All right, let's figure out these fireworks. So effects, uh, fireworks, uh, emitters, fireworks, controllers, effect controller. Is this how we do it? I think this is like the box that they control it from. Ah, there we go. All right, so now let's make some fireworks. Uh, manual. Yeah, we do it at night, always. Ah, there we go. Ooh, that's a nice one. Way to copy. Oh. I'll make it daytime till we're ready. Okay, let's see. Create effect. That one. Wait, I don't need one per controller, do I? Oh, okay. Got it. All right, now we're good. Uh, 
Okay. So if they're too close to each other... Well, we can change the area that they launch in, I suppose. Nice. Ooh, pretty. All right, then we can add some more. Let's do a ring. Markler? Oh, cool. Dude, they got all sorts of... Oh, that's a good one. You can do it all from one box if you want to, but this just allows you to have different types of, uh, I don't see how that looks. Wow, those brocade ones last a long time. You won't even be able to see the other ones for a long time. You gotta wait like a good solid like 20 seconds almost. works out nice. I don't see an option to copy and paste, though. There must be a way to do that. It allows us to create, create effect, but it's unassigned. Ah, that's right. Let's just do a bunch of stuff at random, just to get something on the screen. Brocades last a long time. Let's do a sparkler. The cool thing is we can put like little sparklers all around the park too, so it could go off down at the bottom. And I think yeah, we can extend how long it lasts too, so that's cool. These ones we can't adjust. The sparkler we can though. That's cool. America. It'd be nice if we could set it to loop a couple times. That's awesome. Dragon eggs. Oh, I see. That's cool. Great. 
Brocade is awesome. That burns for a long time. Oh, that's a good one, too. Oh, I love that. That's great. Oh, what Couldn't be more appropriate game to play on the 4th of July. New Year's is good, too. Let's add a trail. What is? What can we do for trail? Sparkles, yeah. Yay! Oh, they're raptor eggs? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're all for those uh, new raptor eggs. Everybody who clicked and tapped join and became a member. Oh, that's great. Man, that brocade lasts a long time. Oh, that's so cool, dude. That's awesome. That's so cool, man. Damn. So now, now, if I could only copy and paste that a few times and like just re re you know repeat that pattern, that would be awesome. That's so cool. All right, we got to see a little bit of fireworks, a little bit. But that's just like a special thing that you can do. I don't think that adjusts your um, park rating at all. I don't think that does anything for like... I don't think that, like, adds to your rides or anything. I, Like, if you set that to go off every time a coaster went by, I don't think that would increase the rating of the park or the coaster, but it's, like, an extra cool thing you can do just to make your park seem more real. Damn, all right. Well, we got whooped once by the scenario, but everything else, we beat it, and this is awesome. Everybody in Tokyo is going to want to come here. We got two coasters, a bunch of rides, fireworks, and the American experience when it comes to food and drink, brother. Hey, man, that's awesome. You just bought Fallout 76? Hey, Amen, brother. Communism detected on American soil. Ooh, we gotta get pizza. Let's get some pizza in here. Alright, let's see what else we got. We need a cash machine somewhere. We'll find some space to put one of those down. Oh, there we go. Perfect. A little ATM there. Got to keep that money coming in. And let's get these assigned too. And we'll hire a few more haulers. Looks like they got to go a long way. And we'll call it a day. Let's go ahead and hire ten of these people. Quite a few things to fill up now, so. And some of them need to go on break, so. Very good. All right, well, welcome, everybody. Nobody loves America more than Japan sometimes when it comes to, like, Christmas. They literally have KFC for Christmas. That's amazing. And it's cool to see all the shopping malls. How appropriate. How perfect. All right, guys, I'll be back around in a little bit. We'll play some Call to Arms, Gates of Hell, Ostfront, and I'll do some giveaways for that game. So for those of you who are members, make sure you jump on for that one. We'll do a giveaway later on the Discord. So if you're already a member and you don't have time to join the stream, we'll still be back around uh, later for giveaways tonight. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much for all the support. And uh, we'll see you uh, hopefully tonight in a little bit for some Gates of Hell. You guys are awesome. I'll see you soon. Thanks again for subbing and hanging out. I will see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody. I'll be live in a few minutes for more. So I'll see you before the 4th of July festivities this evening. Goodbye, everyone. Bling.